Hello friends, I am Ambika. Welcome to SA Educational Hub, a platform to share knowledge, service providers, Situn and Ambika. In this Python tutorial video, we will learn what is the evaluation of an expression, evaluation of arithmetic expressions, evaluation of relational or comparisons expressions, evaluation of logical expressions, search circuit evaluation of logical expressions in Python. Evaluation of an expression. Evaluation of expression means simplifying an expression down to a single value by using operator precedence and associativity. The resulting value is usually one of basic types such as numerical, string, boolean or other types. For example, 2 plus 3 is an arithmetic expression which evaluates to 5. An example of a relational or comparison expression is 4 is less than 5 which evaluates to true. A variable is an expression because it denotes a value in memory. So, x plus 5 is also an expression. Operator precedence and associativity should be thoroughly understood before proceeding. With the evaluation of the expression, you can watch our YouTube tutorial video on operator precedence. The video link is given in the description box. Evaluation of arithmetic expressions. Consider the following expressions. A times 4 plus C divided by 2 minus B times A. For this example, assume that values of the variables are A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3, and c is equal to 4. To evaluate an expression follow the simple rules given below. Step 1. Replace the variables by their values. This gives us the following expression 2 times 4 plus 4 divided by 2 minus 3 times 2. Step 2. Evaluate the highest precedence operators and replace them with the resulting value. Apply associativity if necessary. Associativity is used only when more than one operator has the same precedence. In this example, the operators with highest precedence are multiplication and division. They both have the same level of precedence. So, associativity will be applied. Their associativity is from left to right. That means the operator on the left is evaluated first and then the operator on its right and so on. We therefore evaluate them first from the left and replace them with the resulting values. Now the expression is step 2.1 8 plus 4 divided by 2 minus 3 times 2. Step 2.2 .2, 8 plus 2 minus 3 times 2. Step 2.3 8 plus 2 minus 6. Step 3 repeat step 2 until the result is a single value. In this example there is only one more precedence left that is addition and subtraction. They both have the same level of precedence. So, associativity will be applied. Their associativity is from left to right. We therefore evaluate them first from the left and replace them with the resulting values. Now, the expression is step 3.1 10 minus 6. Step 3.2 4. The final value is 4. Evaluation of relational expressions or Comparisons expression. A comparison expression, also called a relational expression, compare two values and evaluate down to a single Boolean value that is true or false. For example, while expressions like 2 is less than 3 are not Boolean values, they are expressions that evaluate down to Boolean values. All comparison operators in Python have the same label of precedence. They are lower than any arithmetic, shifting or bitwise operators but have higher precedence than boolean operators. The associativity of the comparison operators is left to right. The following is a simple example of comparison expression. A plus C is greater than or equal to B times D. For this example, assume that values of the variables are a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3, c is equal to 4 and d is equal to 5. 
the evaluation process for the expression a plus c is greater than or equal to b times d is as follows in step one the variables are replaced by their values this gives us the expression 2 plus 4 is greater than or equal to 3 times 5. This expression contains math and comparison operators. The math operators will be evaluated first because they have higher precedence than comparison operators. In step 2, 3 times 5 is 15 and 2 plus 4 is 6. Now the expression is 6 is greater than or equal to 15. In step 3, it compares two values and evaluates them down to a single boolean value that is true or false. Here it is false because 6 is not greater than or equal to 15. The value of the complete expression is false. Chain comparisons. Comparison expression can be chained in Python. For example, chain comparison expressions like a is less than b is less than c is internally treated as a is less than b and b is less than c in this chain expression the variable b the middle one is evaluated only once and the variable c is not evaluated at all when the first part of the expression that is a is less than b is false because according to the truth table of the and operator if both operands are true then the result is true otherwise false if the first part of the expression is false then there is no need to check the second part because obviously the result is false example open the python id or any text editor type this python code and run it in this example 10 is assigned to the variable a 20 is assigned to the variable b 30 is assigned to the variable c print a is less than b is less than c the output is true the evaluation process for the expression a is less than b is less than c is as follows in this example a is less than b is less than c is internally treated as a is less than b and b is less than c here a is less than b is true because 10 is less than 20 the second part of the expression b is less than c is also true because 20 is less than 30. The final value of the expression is true because true and true the result is true. Example 2. In this example 10 is assigned to the variable a, 20 is assigned to the variable b, 30 is assigned to the variable c and 5 is assigned to the variable t. Print a is less than b is less than c is less than d. The output is false. The evaluation process for the expression A is less than B is less than C is less than D is as follows. This is an example of a chain comparison expression with four variables. The expression is internally treated as A is less than B and B is less than C and C is less than D. Here the expression A is less than B is true because 10 is less than 20. The next expression b is less than c is also true because 20 is less than 30. The next expression c is less than d is false because 30 is not less than 5. Now we have the expression with boolean values true and true and false. Here the final result is false because true and true the result is true. But the next expression true and false is evaluated as false. Because according to the truth table of an AND operator, if both the operands are true, then the result is true, otherwise false. Hence, the complete expression is evaluated as false. Evaluation of logical expressions. Logical operators in Python, like math operators, have an order of operations. Python evaluates the NOT operators first, then the AND operators and finally the OR operators after all math and comparison operators have been evaluated. The arithmetic and comparison operators have higher precedence than logical operators. The computer will evaluate the logical expressions from left to right because the associativity of logical operator is left to right. When it has the boolean value for each expression it will then evaluate the entire expression down to one boolean value. 
For example, the evaluation process for 2 is less than 4 and 4 is less than 5 on the computer as follows. Before evaluating a logical expression, you have to remember three things. First, the logical expressions are evaluated from left to right. Second, Python evaluates logical operators after all math and comparison operators have been evaluated. Third, the evaluation process continues until the entire expression is evaluated down to one boolean value that is true or false. In this example, the comparison expression 2 is less than 4 is evaluated first which is true. Then 4 is less than 5 is evaluated which is true. Now it has the boolean value for each expression that is true and true. Now logical operator and is evaluated, the result is true, the value of the complete expression is true. Short circuit evaluation of logical expressions in Python. When evaluating binary logical relationships, computer languages can use two methods. In the first method, the entire expression must be evaluated before the result is determined. This means that the AND expression must be evaluated completely even if the first operand is false and the result is known to be false. The second method immediately sets the result value once it is known. It is not required to evaluate the entire expression. In other words, it operates in a short circuit method stopping the evaluation once it is certain of the final result. According to the short circuit approach, if the first operand of a logical AND expression is false, the second half of the expression is not evaluated because the result must be false. In the case of an OR expression, if the first operand is true, there is no need to evaluate the entire expression. So the resulting value is set to true immediately. Python uses this short circuit method. False and anything is false, true or anything is true. Example, open the python id or any text editor, type this python code and run it. In this example, 4 is assigned to the variable a, 0 is assigned to the variable b. The statement print a is greater than 5 and a divided by b is greater than 3 will be evaluated as false. Let us analyze this example. The logical expressions are evaluated from left to right. In this example, the first half of the expression that is a is greater than 5 or 4 is greater than 5 is evaluated first which is false. So the second part of the expression that is a divided by b or 4 divided by 0 is greater than 3 is not evaluated because Python uses the short circuit technique for the evaluation of logical expressions. It stops the evaluation when it knows for sure what the final result will be. Here the final result is false because according to the truth table of the AND operator, if both the operands are true, then the output is true otherwise false. If the first expression evaluated to be false while using AND operator, then the remaining expressions are not evaluated, hence the final result is false. Example 2. In this example, 6 is assigned to the variable a and 0 is assigned to the variable b. It is the same example as the previous one. Here we only change the value of the variable a to 6 so that the second half of the expression will be evaluated. The print statement a is greater than 5 and a divided by b is greater than 3 will return an error message. In this example, the first part of the AND expression that is 6 is greater than 5 is true. So the second part of the expression will be evaluated which gives us runtime errors because of division by 0. The difference between the first and second examples is that in the first example, the first part of the expression is false. So Python would not evaluate the next part of the expression due to the short circuit technique. But in the second example, the first part is true. So the next part of the expression is evaluated which gives us a runtime error due to division by zero. 
So in this way the short circuit method works. We can also use multiple logical operators in an expression along with comparison operators and arithmetic operators. Example, in the case of multiple operators, Python always evaluates the expression from left to right. In this example, the expression 2 times 2 is equal to 2 plus 2 and not 3 plus 3 is equal to 5 and 4 times 2 is equal to 8 contains multiple operators. It will be evaluated from left to right. In step 2, the expression 2 times 2 is equal to 2 plus 2 will be evaluated first which is true. In the next step, the expression 3 plus 3 is equal to 5 will be evaluated which is false because 6 is not equal to 5. Then the expression 4 times 2 is equal to 8 will be evaluated which is true. Now we have the boolean value for each expression. In the next step, the logical operator not will be evaluated first because not has higher precedence than AND operator and the OR operator. The expression NOT FALSE is evaluated as TRUE. Now the expression is TRUE and TRUE and TRUE. The expression will be evaluated from left to right. In the next step, the expression TRUE and TRUE will be evaluated as TRUE. Now the expression is TRUE and TRUE. Then the expression is evaluated down to a single boolean value which is TRUE. So the complete expression is evaluated as TRUE. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Contact us ambikarai27 at gmail.com. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you.